Okay guys, welcome to my quick introduction of X-Entry. First I want to show you what you actually need um, to talk to your Mercedes-Benz or Smart or Maybach or whatever this software can do. Okay, the first thing you need is a multiplexer. There it is. It has two connectors, one on each side. This thing is made by Actia. It says it's made in France. Then you need a RS-232. Two RS485 <coughs> converter. I don't know if you can see this here. Well, there it is. This will go in between the multiplexer and the computer. I also have a real long extension, so I don't have to sit in the car. I can do it from my bench here. I think you need the most is probably this one here. This is a standard ODB2 connector, fits on all the newer vehicles. The set I bought came with a bunch of seriously heavy duty cables. This is for the older models. This is for the even older model, has some clip-ons here, and then another one. There we go. And of course, the most important thing, you will need a computer, like this one here. Usually it's a Dell 630 running X-Entry. As you can see, you can do Mercedes, Smart, Maybach, Peugeot, Sentra, Cobos, Unimog, and a few other ones. I'm gonna go closer into the screen here in a second. Okay, first thing you, you wanna hook up, Let's zoom this out again, is the multiplexer. So I'm gonna use my super long cable here. It goes in the computer. It always makes sense to screw them in. goes on to our RS-232 converter then this end goes into the multiplexer, can't do that wrong, doesn't fit wrong yeah and as you can see you also need a vehicle here's the setup and with the ODB2 connectors down there, of course. Here's the trusted multiplexer. The LED should be on. It is. Probably can't see that with the sunlight. And here's my nice long cable going all the way into the garage. 